What the hell is this? What is this? What is this demon? Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. New life has begun in my cricket army. They start off white, almost transparent, and then they evolve and evolve over time. You ever seen a cricket egg before? That's not a rice granule. That's exactly what it looks like. And these are about to hatch. It started with 25 crickets, and it's gonna end with 25 crickets. This new generation is just hatching. And this is the last batch of the original 25 that have now perished with age. You see, the story started with these 25 crickets. And I've bred these crickets to give me this future army to come. But did you ever think a frog would be involved in this story? That's right, a small tree frog, the whistling tree frog. It's a gloomy night and I need to prepare a home for these new hatchlings. It's really simple, a plastic tub, some paper towels, water, and you put the egg laying dish in there. And then they'll start exploring. Can you see them? I almost forgot the egg cartons for them to climb and hide. Once they start hatching, you've got anarchy. They're everywhere. There's hundreds. At first I was overwhelmed by the numbers, but then I realized they're easy. You just need to give them heat, food, water, and somewhere to hide. So what are we going to feed them, Max? Carrot, some spinach, and some dog food. That will do for today. So I place it carefully in all the tubs so they all have access to it. And in one corner, easier for cleaning that way. But the story doesn't end here. We've just started. I want to talk to you about these 25 baby crickets. These are first generation. You see, these are my firstborns from my original OG 25 adults. And I'm keeping these guys separate, but for a purpose. These guys were carefully hand selected because they're the right size. And there was a purpose behind having a cricket army. And that is to feed other animals. The frog is back and he's hungry. This is exactly what they're for. Oh, Max, and I've got a lot of mouths to feed. This tree frog knows he doesn't need to jump. He'll adjust his movements tactically and get close to the cricket. That's it, it's over. Now let's see that again. An easy meal for a voracious eater. That's why I need a cricket army. So this was the story about the cricket army and the frog. And I'm gonna leave you with this cricket who just had a drink of water. Stay tuned for the next one.